At the top and all new tonight, a 12-year-old is in the hospital with severe burns. An explosion while burning trash is to blame. Channel 5's Carolina Cruz was at the scene as investigators gathered evidence. Tonight, the Hidalgo County Fire Marshal's office wants their message to be clear. Do not burn trash without a permit. And above all, never let a minor burn trash alone or with an adult. Remnants of pending chores now replaced with crime scene tape. In this case, it was a 12-year-old who was in the backyard, unsupervised, while his parent was asleep inside the house. It, it doesn't take a genius to figure out that that's not a good mix. A quick way to get rid of trash turned dangerous. The 12-year-old's grandmother, Leticia Pequeño, says she was disposing of some garbage. Pero era una bolsita chiquita nada más de regular, verdad? Y le dije yo, pues que quemara la basura. In this case, it was a hairspray bottle. We know that they were using gasoline to start it too. There's a lot of precautions that people need to take, and all fires start small. It's not going to be anything that, hey, this, this is a small pile, so there's no risk. There's, there's an inherent risk anytime you burn trash. Family members didn't call 911, instead, taking the boy to the ER. When I returned, the child was burned. The preteen was rushed to San Antonio with severe burns on over 25 percent of his body. They could very well be life-changing uh, injuries, and you know it, our, our heart breaks for him. But we need to do what we can to try and get uh, cooperation through enforcement. Enforcement only effective through community precaution. A lot of these type incidents easily avoided. You know, and, and we, as much as we may say, hey, they never intended for it to happen, we chalk this up to stupidity. Investigators are looking into the possibility of issuing citations in this case. The fire marshal says if you're going to burn trash, it has to be brush, such as untreated lumber. You cannot burn anything that's not brush. If you do have trash, it has to be taken to a county dump site. From there, it's disposed of at a landfill. Reporting live in the studio, Carolina Cruz, Channel 5 News at 6. We learned this wasn't the only incident this week involving a minor. Investigator John Franz tells us he responded to a house fire yesterday. The investigation revealed an 8-year-old was playing with fireworks indoors. He urges families to check their leftover 4th of July items and keep them out of your child's reach. He says accidents happen, but some can be prevented.